Hello, I'm Dr. Joyita Roy Mitra and I'm a consultant uh, obstetrician and gynecologist at, at, attached to Bhagriti Neokya Women and Child Care Center, Newtown. Today, I, I have uh, chosen the topic uh, myself to uh, bring awareness uh, about abdominal pain. Abdominal pain in all walks of life, in all ages, uh, of the women's and our girls, it starts from adolescent abdominal pain and it will be followed through with a reproductive uh, abdominal pain, reproductive age group women having abdominal pain as well as uh, pregnancy abdominal pain followed by the postmenopausal. Now why I have chosen this topic because here in our clinic we have a lot of patients and people and especially mothers and also women, they come very much uh, uh, panic stricken, uh, having pain abdomen, not to and have not having the knowledge when to seek actually the emergency help, or they delay too much and land up in the emergency in a very critical condition. So my uh, um, entire talk will be dedicated in at least uh, sharing my knowledge with you and uh, when and how to seek help. So first of all, we have to divide the pain uh, in four quadrants. The abdomen, there is it's a four quadrant uh, zone. That is the upper part, upper upper part abdominal pain, and the lower part abdominal pain. That is one above the umbilicus and one below the umbilicus. And also there are two sides: the right side and the left side. So these are the uh, first thing when you are communicating with the doctor, it is better to say that I have pain in the upper part or I have pain in the upper right part left part that way so it helps second is uh, that what is the duration and intensity of the pain is the pain increasing with time and whether it is uh, has been over one day over two days or many days whether the pain is associated with any nausea vomiting or any dehydration any constipation or diarrhea like gastric symptoms also and also the next thing is uh, whether there is fever along with the pain so few things when you are communicating with the doctor you should not be so much hassle but to maintain these few five four or five points that uh, to help us understand the characteristic of the pain now what we say when to seek emergency help and any pain any pain whatever the cause if the pain is more than 48 hours even at times, if it, even if it is more than 24 hours and the patient is unable to tolerate the pain. So then you have to seek help anyway and not wait till 48 hours. But more than 48 hours of pain, seek help. Pain is increasing from mild, dull aching pain to sharp stabbing pain, seek help. It is associated with high fever and then it is not, the fever is not coming down, then you have to seek help. So that way, the approach of pain but uh, what about the few how will you understand how will you gauge that what kind of pain is it and how uh, in what way it will go so first i'll have to divide it for the mothers for the adolescent adolescent pain are of many kinds so the very common part is worm infestation at times the worm infestation is there it forms a clot like it's a mass in the intestine and it really causes symptoms of obstruction vomiting and a lot of pain so that can be a simple cause and yet a very painful cause as well and uh, nowadays uh, children are quite anxious and it sometimes the pain happens just before the exam so it is an anxiety related pain which we have to understand and whether it is associated with the exam and not always that just before the exam the pain happens and we um, relate it to a psychological cause it is not fair as well so you have to gauge like uh, the uh, kind of pain uh, if it is recurrent before each exam then you have to even note that also nowadays the gut is has become very sensitive uh, with irritable bowel uh, syndrome which is a very common 
thing uh, diagnosis with gastroenterologist these days also children uh, do not drink water and constipation is a, a very common co- problem not only in ado- adolescent but constipation can be a common cause of pain even in the um, other age groups and then al- already then we have appendicitis which we all know that there is an inflamed appendix <coughs> and ovarian cyst can be there and sometimes the ovarian cyst it may twist that if the cyst is big it bobs up and down and then suddenly the uh, child is jumping or skipping or running and it can twist and this twisting cause severe pain and after twisting that there might be an increase in the pressure and the cyst may burst so these thing is a definitely an emergency condition but you have to be aware of the uh, cause that it might be one of the cause now the children part uh, uh, going uh, forward that uh, the girl enters the reproductive phase now that means it is uh, the child is becoming uh, or the lady is it's coming entering into womanhood right so most many of the uh, causes of pain in the adolescents are overlapping but here we have to understand the um, other causes extra causes like it can be at this age usually endometriosis is a very common occurrence so it might be an endometriotic cyst <coughs> sorry or it can be an ectopic pregnancy which is a very serious condition a grave condition needing urgent care and if you are not aware then it is a life threatening condition as well and at this time there are many uh, things like pid like pelvic inflammatory disease due to chronic infective condition here usually it is usually associated with prolonged discharge or vaginal discharge usually foul smelling now um, already uh, we have already gone through this part and then the pregnancy part the woman uh, is now entering into pregnant pregnancy and in pregnancy there are several uh, painful conditions apart from preterm labor and labor itself there are other painful conditions in pregnancies which are very common that is there is the pain near the groin and uh, that is uh, and that is or towards the umbilicus and that is usually the ligament pain or it is uh, the growing pain of the uterus and at times uh, people do have this pain around the lower part of the ribs which is due to the baby's head pushing on to the ribs so that is also a uh, important cause of pain and uh, but you have to be aware that if it is on the right side of the lower part of the ribs then it can be due to high blood pressure as well uh, complicating the pregnancy that is uh, preeclamptic syndrome okay and again in pregnancy a very common uh, cause of pain is constipation so uh, these things uh, in pregnancy are the common causes of pain the uh other causes of pain in pregnancy can be also due to an associated ovarian cyst it can be due to a degenerating fibroid that is a myoma or a uh, ovarian or a uterine tumor which is having some certain changes that is causing the pain uh, uh, to happen and that would require a um, admission in the hospital so now the next stage uh, apart from that there is also uh, um, pregnancy complications associated with high blood pressure which can cause a severe pain in the right hypochondriac region means uh, near the liver there might be also nowadays it is uh, very common for pregnant women to have uh, gallbladder stones okay so all these things have to be kept in mind while uh, having uh, pain associated with pregnancy now in the next part that is once uh, in the a little bit middle age part constipation is a very big problem uh, with uh, now um, with the pain uh, management means constipation becomes a very big uh, cause of pain and uh, now moving forward from pregnancy to the middle age most of the causes of pain that we discussed before are common except that in uh, in the middle age there is extra the ovarian and uterine tumors are common 
and among which fibroid is a very common cause of pain in the uh, um, middle aged and elderly. In elderly UTI, urinary tract infection is also common and this is also a very common cause in all the age group. I hope my talk has helped you and uh, we'll see you after some time. Thank you.